Hi, I'm Dr. Polly Parsons. I'm the Chair of Medicine here at the University of Vermont, and I want to welcome you to all of our fellowship programs. We have an outstanding opportunity here at the University of Vermont. We work daily with world-class faculty who are internationally recognized for their contributions to research and education and have exceptional fellows, residents, and medical students. Education is one of the core missions of our Department of Medicine, and we're extraordinarily proud of our fellowship programs and the opportunities that it provides to the trainees, both when they're here in training and as they go on into their future careers. We take one fellow in infectious diseases per year, and it's a two-year program, so we have two fellows at any given time. The benefit of working with our trainees is that we really work one-on-one -on -one to try and understand what's the underlying problem with our patients and how to try and pursue diagnostics and, and treatment interventions that will help them get better. You definitely get to know everyone really, really well, and everyone has their own personal style. And uh, it's kind of nice because, you know, there's a lot of interaction. We have ample teaching every month. Uh, we have about nine conferences per month. In addition to throughout the year, we have on the order of 40 specialized lectures dedicated just to the fellows to round out their curriculum. I think one of the unique features about the infectious disease training program here at UVM is the availability of the Vaccine Testing Center under the direction of Beth Kirkpatrick. The Vaccine Testing Center provides the fellows an opportunity for clinical research and understanding clinical trial design and participating in clinical trials. There are a lot of opportunities for research here for the fellows that they can either do in their second year a more clinically oriented research project, uh, which might be epidemiology or addressing a specific clinical question, or they can do a more lab-based uh, project, and there are opportunities both in in my lab or with uh, Beth Kirkpatrick in the Vaccine Testing Center. We have all aspects of infectious disease research. All of um, attendings, they have ongoing research and then uh, you have opportunity to do um, vaccine trial with Dr. Pierce or you can talk with Dr. Houston about basic science. If you want to do epidemiology, you can talk to Dr. Austin. I think it's important for people to recognize that even in our rural state, the fellows get exposed to a great spectrum of cases. We draw from a large catchment area in Upper New York State, even into New Hampshire and throughout the state of Vermont. We have a large uh, clinic here for HIV care, but we also have three outreach clinics located throughout the state so that we can serve patients kind of closer to home and they don't need to be traveling. Fellows have an opportunity to manage their own cohort of HIV cases. Our fellows clinics are every Tuesday and when you're on service it's a half day and when you're not on service it's a whole day of clinic. We also spend time reviewing the patient referrals to make sure that the fellows can get the broadest uh, variety of patients to see. Um, and so that they can see the entire spectrum of infectious disease. There's plenty of staff to help you with anything, so if something comes up in the outpatient environment, you always have a lot of support and you have a lot of help, and it just makes your clinic experience much better. I received a really broad education in the practice of infectious diseases. Felt very welcomed by the faculty. And here, this is such a good community. I feel like I am a part of the family. They are um, welcome. Everyone here is just very helpful. It's a really collegial atmosphere. The fellows do have the opportunity to see a wide spectrum of cases. And they're going to see enough, they're going to feel confident when they finish their training that they can manage infectious disease.